All right, let's hand it over to Peyton Domsky in with the weather tonight. Now, Peyton, I feel like we turned a bit of a corner and, and gosh, just in time for all our visitors here. I know, I hope they brought their jackets. I know <laughs> yeah. some will be winning this weekend when it comes to basketball, some may not, but will we be winning when it comes to a forecast? Here's where things are really gonna be broken down. Do we see sunshine for three days in a row? That would be a winning ticket here. I think the real winner are going to be our temperatures. Tomorrow we're going to be in the 40s. It's not going to start in the 40s, but we'll end in the 40s on a mild note. There'll be a whole lot of sunshine. So yes, you'll need the winter accessories for the morning, but you're also going to need the sunglasses as you head through the day. And then Monday we are in the 50s. We stay in the 50s for Tuesday as well. The kicker here though is that there is going to be rain tied to those 50 degree temperatures, especially on Tuesday, and we'll time all that out here in a second. So tomorrow starts cold, ends mild. It's followed by a couple spring days. It's one of my predictions there, and then we get a little bit of a reality check by the middle of the week. Temperatures are going to fall, and that's when we see the rain and even a little transition over to some mixing late week. And yep, we are all cold right now. There's no surprise there. If you've stepped out today, it is also blustery as well on top of the cold conditions. You're either in the upper teens or right around 20 degrees at the moment, but that is not what it feels like to you. When factory in sustained winds anywhere from about 10 to 25 miles per hour gusting to 30 today, it feels like the single digits feeling like five degrees right now. In Medina six in Ashland, seven in Norwalk. Same thing in Elyria, six in Ashtabula, and things are not going to get much better as we just progress here over the next 12 hours or so. We are going to be feeling like the single digits as we start your Sunday morning. So maybe you're headed out early tomorrow morning for some grocery shopping. Maybe it's some church service plans. You are going to need to stay bundled, but you can thank this big blue eight here, this high pressure system that it's going to be moving farther to the east. So what that's going to do for us, it's going to change our wind direction and tomorrow we are going to start to see a warming wind in place. So yes, there's going to be a southerly component here. As I mentioned, it is not going to start off on the warm note for our Sunday, but we will get there slowly but surely and we're going to stay there for Monday and Tuesday. But the kicker, as I mentioned, your national Zymar big picture forecast rain starts to move into the picture kind of widespread in nature too by late Monday night. And this is going to stick with us for Tuesday on the back side of the warmth and on the back side of the rain. We are going to see temperatures fall, which puts us there by Wednesday. And then the idea of a little mixing is possible Thursday night and then into Friday. So we could also see some snow flurries flying as well. And your Union Home Mortgage Extended Forecast 40s tomorrow. As I mentioned, we do not start there. Check out the low 12 degrees and then we rebound back into the mid 50s by Tuesday 40s and falling for Wednesday and then we are back with that reality check as soon as Thursday, Friday and Saturday all back in the 30s. Lena. All right. In the meantime, we'll appreciate that big blue H. We sure will. <laughs> H for happy. <laughs> Thanks, Peyton.